All righty. What is my next video going to be about? Actually, you know what? I've been hearing a little too much about this chat GPT stuff. How about... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Tips for a magnificent mane? Uh, nah, yeah, we're not going to use that as a title. Sorry, chat GPT. But let's see how good of a beard video that artificial intelligence can give the bearded Hefner and the viewers. Hang tight. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the bearded Hefner. And the purpose of this video is beard advice, but not from me this time. We're using a little bit of artificial intelligence, AKA chat GPT. I am inviting you to subscribe and like the video. <laughs> First, you wanna discuss choosing the right beard style for you. You know, face shape is the number one factor according to ChatGPT. So you wanna experiment and find out what's the best uh, beard style that fits your face shape. Maybe you have a fat head, maybe you have an oval head, cone head, uh, double chin, whatever the case may be. For me, a long beard looks best on me. I actually think the long beard looks better on me than my, a short beard. You might be the complete opposite and might think, hey, you know, five o'clock shadow fits your strong ass jawline. The whole point of this first tip, evaluate your face shape and then move accordingly. Next, we're gonna discuss proper beard maintenance, okay? So that's all things keeping the beard clean, keeping it neat and all that good stuff. First, I wanna talk about the importance of regularly trimming your beard, all right? Now, me, of course, if you've been following me for some time, I've been anti-trim for the longest. I trimmed my beard for the first time late last year, and now I'm trimming the ends of it in probably every three to six months or so because split ends are pretty much your worst enemy. And as the beard grows longer, it's gonna look, start looking straggly and more, and you're gonna look kind of homeless and whatnot. So you wanna keep that uniform look so now I just trim every now and then, you know, and for yourself, if you're, again, based on your face shape, if you want a shorter beard, you just want to make sure it looks nice, groom it well, and just make sure everything's even. So a little trimming can go a long way. And then there's keeping the beard clean. Of course, you keep the beard clean by washing that mother sucker. All right. So once a week, twice a week, whatever fits how you know how you moving with your beard if you're always in the gym or if you're always sweating or whatever get some beard wash beard shampoo wash that sucker in the shower or over the sink whatever the case may be and then also just follow with a conditioner so just so that you know your beard is nice and clean and moisturized out the shower and then to follow up with that make sure you use the right tools i'm gonna beat this into your head until you learn it but the wooden comb should be your number one arsenal for beard growth especially any sort of length 
um and and then make, just make sure that you're overall just using the right tools for your beard situation next we have beard care products i have made too many damn videos on this already so i'm not gonna go too much into detail but you have your beard balm you have your beard butter you have your beard oil all right if you're if you're more into like really really making sure your, your beard is moisturized you could throw in the beard leave-in conditioner as well um all fits your style the beard balm and the beard butter is more for shaping and styling um the beard oil is more just to um give it a nice sheen and some extra moisturizing uh as you're styling your beard and whatnot so um your mileage will vary i'm not here to sell you anything use what works for you that's a pro that's a common theme for chat gpt in this video you kind of have to um gauge and see what works for you um me personally i'm currently only using uh beard butter and beard oil uh check out my la my last video i spoke on the beard butter i'm using now which is detroit grooming um i really fuck with them and yeah that's a free shout out for you detroit grooming here's another repetitive talking point see chat gpt i think it might be watching my videos on the low nourishing your beard from within so that's all about that protein and the high fat diets that i love talking about i love talking about some steak and eggs and some double cheeseburgers with them avocados and all that good stuff you know so um make sure you 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 you, you complement that with multivitamins um and just things to make sure that at least from the inside out you're you're you're, you're creating the best environment for your genetics to kick in and give you a beard and make your beard grow now we're going to talk about common beard issues and solutions so i know a lot of guys who come to the beard side of youtube they're looking for answers either the beard is too patchy they can't grow anything at all or they want some length or whatever the case may be now when it comes to hygienic stuff like oh my beard is itchy or my or my beard i have beard dandruff then refer back to our other points about the cleanliness aspect as long as you are cleaning and shampooing and making sure that the skin under your be under your beard as well as the beard itself is clean you should be good a face wash daily exfoliate your your face a couple times a week as well will be your best friends here now as far as patchiness is concerned um, I personally am not a fan. I, it seems like a little snake oil salesman -y about this, but a lot of people do recommend derma rolling. Um, I, I, who am I to shoot another man's shit down? So derma rolling works for you. And if you want to try it out, that's cool. Uh, there's also minoxidil. If you, if you want to try a, a more medical approach and you know just topically apply it to your face and see if that works for you with all these things like derma rolling and minoxidil things that are outside of your genetics your mileage will always vary i would love for you guys to share your beard experiences any tips whatever the case may be in the comments why because chat gpt said so i encourage everybody watching this video to try and incorporate all these tips provided by chat gpt in this video actually to be honest they weren't really provided by chat gpt chat gpt kind of was biting off of me because i talk about all of these things already but it was a valiant effort on the artificial intelligence part all right guys drop in the comments any extra beard tips you have beard products that you like uh, do you guys like detroit grooming or scotch porter or whatever the case may be do you think derma rolling's the shit do you do you think i'm wrong about that whatever the case may be drop it in the comments that way i could chop it up with y'all probably you'll, there's gonna be something there that somebody else can read and use whatever the case may be guys like comment subscribe and i will get back with you guys in the next video peace out